food and utility stock are the growth in income categories for stock picks this time around with Todd Bunton, our growth and income stock strategist here at Zaxx. The food company is H.J. Hines, and uh, that's an old line company. They've yeah. been around. Yeah, since 1869, just shortly after the Civil War, yeah. founded by Henry John Hines. That's what the H.J. stands for. But obviously we know them well for their ketchup brand, obviously the Heinz beans, uh, sauces, soups, pastas. But they, that's only about a third of their sales, surprisingly. They also have Orida brand, the potatoes. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that's a nice compliment. You can have your, your tater tots and your ketchup. Heinz ketchup to go yeah. with it. Uh, they also have the Weight Watcher Smart One entrees, uh, the frozen meals. Uh, they also have a line of infant nutrition, too. Mm. Uh, but the company's delivered 30 consecutive quarters of organic sales growth. And the reason for that is because of the emerging markets. About a fourth of their sales come from the emerging markets. And the company expects... Uh, sales there to double over the next three to five years. Mm. So really it's an emerging market play, this company, because sales in the U.S. are pretty much going to be flat. They're going to basically be right around what GDP growth is. Uh, they, they also have sales in Europe. Obviously, that's you, you don't expect that to be a huge growth driver. But the emerging markets is where it's at, obviously, with a booming uh, middle class. And with that comes uh, a higher, uh, higher grocery budget. And, and they're spending on Heinz products. And that's, that's driven six consecutive positive earnings surprises for the company. Uh, and you can see here that analysts have risen their estimates over the last uh, 60 days, uh, almost unanimous. Uh, the number one factor in the Zacks rank is the agreement of analyst estimates. And that's mm -hmm. the chart I brought with me. And you can see analysts have been in agreement over the last two months. They've all increased their estimates. So that's a good sign. It's a Zacks rank of two, which is a buy rating. Like I said, six consecutive positive earnings surprise, so good earnings momentum, uh, good growth with the emerging market play, also a very good uh, yield as well. They pay a dividend that yields 3.4%, and they've increased that at 6% at an average annual rate of 6% since 2007. Mm -hmm. So very good income as well. You're getting all that at a reasonable price. They trade about 16 times forward earnings. That's in line with its peers. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to like here. All right, and the utility is actually a water utility. Uh, publicly traded water utility, yeah. Aqua America. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of these around. Yeah. Um, and when you hear utility, you usually don't think growth, but this company since the early 90s has been on a, a growth via acquisition strategy. About half of their sales come from Pennsylvania, uh, mostly in the Philadelphia market. Uh, they used to be, I think, uh, Philadelphia Sub Suburban Corporation, okay. but they changed their name. Uh, and they, they've been acquiring companies. Uh, they also have about half of their sales outside of Pennsylvania as well. Uh, and s some surrounding states, some random states. Uh, they're in Texas, Illinois, Georgia, Ohio, mm -hmm. Florida, mm -hmm. New Jersey. Uh, but uh, like I said, a, a decent growth story here, not only through acquisition, but also organic sales growth uh, through increased water and wastewater rates. And the company has delivered two consecutive positive earnings surprise surprises. Uh, they've seen, like I said, solid revenue growth, solid bottom line growth, and analysts expect uh, solid mid-single to, to high single digit, even low double digit earnings per share growth over the next few years. So you've got a good growth story, especially for a utility company. Obviously, you can expect a, a good income as well. They pay a dividend that yields 2.6%. And going back to the year 2000, they've increased that at a 7% compound annual rate. So very good income as well. They pay a dividend that yields more than you'd get on a 10-year treasury, and I'd argue it's pretty much just a safe. And you're getting all that at a fair price. They trade about 23 times forward earnings. That might sound rich, but historically over the last 10 years, they've traded it 23 times, so it's in line with that multiple. You're paying for, for growth, and you're paying for solid income. So there's a lot to like here as well. Nothing watered down about that company. <laughs> do you own either of these two? I do not. All right, I'll stop with the puns now and let you know that you can uh, well, take a look at more stock picks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. You can link to them right off the home page. So if you're not there already watching this video, get on over there and check them out. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.